Learn how to build your own building blocks. It has long been known that playing with building blocks is one of the best toys for the early development of children. From infants up to the teen years, playing with blocks stimulates learning in all domains of development, intellectual, physical, and social, emotional, and language. Block playing can also stimulate creativity. Researchers proved that children who play with blocks when they are three, four, and five years of age will do better in math, especially algebra in middle school. You can use a table saw to cut blocks. This is actually the best tool to use. And you just use these little markings right there. Like if you want the block that's a half an, I an inch and a half, then you put it at that mark. And it will cut at the right space. If you want the block to be three inches long, you put it at the outside edge of the mark and it will cut it three inches long. So you, using those markers helps you to make quick measurements and get the exact size that you want. It is so useful. It can cut straight cuts or it can cut angled cuts, which is useful if you're doing any kind of corners. start on a block set. We have square blocks which are one and a half by one and a half and then we have tower blocks which are three inches tall by one and a half. There I have a hundred blocks cut and it didn't take me but it seemed like 20 minutes. So quick and easy with this great tool. Love this tool best tool to have right here. When I cut the blocks it always has these uh, rough edges on it. Um, little splinters that need to be sanded off. I use a mouse sander to give a smooth finish to the block. With my first set of blocks I used my mouse sander this way which was very tiring on my hands. After a while, my hands were all tingly from holding the vibrating sander for such a long time. Plus, I got sawdust all over myself. Here's a creative way to make sanding a little bit easier. I'm using my table saw and my mouse sander. So I'm placing my sander upside down and move this bar over here and that will hold it Make, I'll just hold, I have to hold it here and that way I can sand it. Now right now I'm using a coarse paper to get all really rough edges off. And after I've gone over them with all of the um, 50 very coarse to get the rough stuff off, I could go from 80 to 120 to 220. The bigger the number, the finer the sand. But I start with the coarse put on safety glasses to protect the eyes. Using the mouse sander this way was so much easier on my hands. I just ran the blocks over the top of the vibrating face of the sander. With my left hand, I had to hold the sander in place, otherwise it would vibrate backwards. So that's, it's still kind of rough, but that gets all the really, really rough stuff. There's some that are sanded. The rough edges are off. And this is just the first sanding um, with a coarser paper to get all the really rough edges. After the blocks are all sanded with a smooth finish, you can decide to paint them, stain them, or do other creative things with them, like painting them with gradated colors. Each side of the block can have a different color. They can sort them by color and then arrange them by values from light to dark. I stenciled numbers on the sides of the puzzle blocks and used a wood burning tool to darken the numbers. On the opposite side, I placed dots that correspond with the number for counting purposes. I arrange the dots as found on dominoes. I'm going to line these all up 
and then I'm going to tape them. I want to paint the scene. Okay, so I have them taped together and I'm going to sketch a design on here and I'm going to paint a whole scene. So this will create a puzzle. Here is the completed puzzle blocks. I painted the scene on the front of the blocks. You can have a different puzzle on both the front and the back side. I made a set of wooden blocks for each of my grandsons for their first birthday and plan to add different blocks to expand their collection over time. A block set that they can grow with. Every child should have a set of wooden building blocks to grow up with. A well-made and well-cared for set of blocks can outlast decades of children. An endearing toy that can be passed from generation to generation. Why not make a set of handmade blocks for your child or your grandchild to pass along a heritage that is worthwhile? Those are baby blocks. Oh, he got my towel. That's because he's a baby and he doesn't know. Be sure to check out my other block making videos. I have one on painting puzzle blocks and another about painting colored blocks with gradated values. And don't forget to subscribe. Please visit my blog site to learn more about the benefits of playing with building blocks. www.ufixitmom.com you can subscribe to my blog as well for more great ideas. My blog site also has suggested activities to do with building blocks for various age groups and ideas on how you can encourage your child to play with the blocks plus lots of great photos of different block types with various lessons you can teach using building blocks.